This is the review of my very first custom font pen by Jeremiah Winfield. Welcome to the channel again. It's your host Amy from PenVenture and in this video I am going to share with you a video review of my very first custom font pen by Jeremiah Winfield at Monty Winfield. This is a collaboration project after a friend of mine introduced the skills and capabilities of Jeremiah Winfield to me and I am very happy with the choice of material, style and all of the options of this custom fountain pen. In this review I'm going to share the story of this fountain pen, then I will tell some information about Jeremiah and his skill and capabilities, then I will show you the details of this specific font pen, then we will go into a size comparison and in the end we will have a very nice writing sample with two specific nibs, two specialty nibs, the Cobra nib and the Seagull nib. More on that later. And after the writing sample stay tuned because I will share some opinions regarding this font pen and also those two nibs after using them for the past two months so you guys may have a better understanding of what to look for in your custom fondant pen. First of all I'm going to start with the finial and this is very very original because this is the first pen in my collection that has a finial that's combined with the clip and this is straight out of Jeremiah style. This pen doesn't have a specific name, this is his platform upon which he is working. You can order different clips but this is what I've done and this is flat. It comes out of the finial. This is made out of titanium and it's not your let's say bland color of, uh, of a metal. This seems to be satinated, slightly brushed. I hope the camera picks up this specific look. The clip ends in this round ball which is very practical if you want to take this pen with you and you want to clip it on your t-shirt or something like this. The shape of the cap is very basic and it starts to pick up in girth from the finial and around here this is the maximum point and continues down to the end of the cap. We don't have any cap rings or cap band or something like this but it is not something that I don't like because the beauty of this font pen is the material and here is where I want to share more information because Jeremiah does all crazy things. He designs materials, he works on nibs, he works on accessories, clip, anything. He is what I like to call a complete pen maker. He is going to design a font pen from scratch. He does the shape, he does the accessories, the clip, he does the section, he does the nib and I am sure that he has the knowledge and capabilities even to produce nibs. The pen that I've chosen has been produced from ebonite and then the ebonite is lacquered with 15 to 20 layers of lacquer. Of course the pen looks like it's black but in very very good lightning. You can see that the pen has this burgundy color which is gradient. It's stunning. I love the pen, I love the material, it's warm to the touch, it is not urushi but of course the effect is pretty similar. Now let's uncap the pen and we have one complete turn and we uncap the pen. The cap is pretty light, I'm going to put it aside and we have the nib. I know it's only three words but when it comes to those three words Jeremiah does magic stuff and this is the nib that I have on this moment on my pen and it is a Cobra nib. Jeremiah is well known to be one of the most highly regarded nib welders because he is doing work of art with the nibs. He is welding nibs and you can pretty much see his Instagram channel. I'll try to link it up here. You can go there and check his gallery and you will see a endless possibilities 
of combinations of welding nibs, two nibs, welded three nibs, grinding them. And I've chosen two very, very specific models. I wanted to have a Cobra nib because I've seen some Sailor Cobra nibs and I know they are quite rare. So I wanted to have something similar just to see how it behaves. And this is made out of uh, stacking two Yovo steel nibs and grinding the tip in sort of a triangular configuration. You will see in the writing sample how these two nibs are performing. As for a second choice, I opted for something that Jeremiah thinks is one of the most popular all around nice nibs of his uh, inventory. And I said to him, choose something that I will like. So he had free reign over this choice. So he went with a seagull nib, which is something that I would call a Concord with a fine nib in normal writing and in reverse writing, it's a double broad architect. Of course, you will see these two nibs in the writing sample. Being Yovo nibs, they are nib units interchangeable. So you only unscrew the nib unit and plug this one and you have a two nib option on your font pen. Moving forward, we have the normal ABS feed of the Yovo nibs and the section. The section is made out of titanium, just like the clip. It has this pattern, which is something that I find very, very appealing and pleasant. It will prevent your fingers from slipping. It is not that deep in the way that he is engraving that pattern because you won't have ink that gets in that pattern and stains the metal. I believe it's very, very interesting. And I'm going to use some close up videos so you guys can grasp this kind of engraving. Moving forward, we have the capped threads. I would consider them sharp, but I don't grip the pen that high. So for me, it's not a problem. Again, this is the part which is made out of titanium as well. Further from the threads, we are greeted by a very nice engraving. His company, Monty Winfield. You can spot how nice is that engraving on that part of the barrel. The barrel starts with the maximum diameter at this point right here, and it's going to taper in and we have a dome at the end of the barrel. It's just sublime in its own simplicity. I love this pen. I love this material and I think it's something that I will forever keep in my personal pen collection. Moving forward, we have the filling system and this is a cartridge converter. I don't know if he is offering pistons on his creations, but I specifically went with a cartridge converter because these two nibs will put down a lot of ink. So I like to change my inks quite frequently. So I wanted a cartridge converter just for the easy aspect of the changing of the inks. Something to point out, the pen body is made out of ebonite and we have this end which is made out of titanium. As far as I know, titanium is not going to corrode if you put ink on it. I don't recommend you try to convert something like this into a eyedropper. Just leave it like this. It will be better. I would like to move into a size comparison right now. And then let's go into the writing sample because I believe the writing sample is the most important thing about this creation and about Jeremiah Winfield. Here is the custom pen by Jeremiah Winfield standing next to our pen models. From left to right, we have Leonardo Momento Zero Arco Verde, Omas Ojiva Alba, Sailor King of Pen, custom pen by Jeremiah Winfield, Leonardo Furore Grande, Blue Hawaii, Lambro Pens LB6. Now let's have some measurements. The pen capped measures 145 millimeters, uncapped 140 millimeters. Remember, I don't post this pen because it's lacquered and I don't want to scratch the lacquer. And the diameter of the grip section is nine millimeters. The total weight of the pen fully inked is 28 grams capped 
and uncapped is only 20 grams. And we have the pan, which is a custom Jeremiah Winfield. The ink is KVZ Blue Black. And this is the Cobra nib and it is a gorgeous gorgeous nib very nice pleasant smooth writer let's see the ink flow and i would consider this nib to be quite quite wet but what's really nice about it you have at your disposal all nib sizes so if you write at this angle you will have a extra fine then if you move lower you have a fine you have a medium you have a broad you have a double broad and pretty much you have a triple broad and this is godlike paintbrush mode it is a very very nice nib it's smooth it's wet it's overall a joy to use now let's change to the other nib and with the help of cinematography we are going to do that just now and this is the seagull nib and just like i told you it's a concord like nib and this is the seagull in normal writing, I would call this nib a very wet and smooth medium. I know I said fine, but I think it's a medium. This is quite wet. I'm going to show you a normal sample. This is a double pass and one pass. It's quite wet. And now let's show how it behaves in reverse writing it is so so smooth and so so wet and nice and just like i told you it's a double broad or even a triple broad reverse architect it is a joy to use they are very smooth and i like the practicality aspect of the seagull nib a lot i think this is a very nice choice in regards of a everyday writer you have the best of both worlds you have a very wet and very very playful nib in reverse and you have a normal medium in normal writing isn't that something pretty i enjoy those two nibs a lot and I think I will order one more pen just to have the second nib mounted into something that I can write with every day I quite enjoy those two nibs something that I think is worth to point out although I initially wanted the Cobra nib because I like to have something which is similar to Cobra Sailor nib which is something very rare. I find that in normal writing and everyday use, the seagull nib, the reversible nib is more practical because you have a normal nib at one end, then you have something which is wet and nice and you can put down a lot of ink turning the nib upside down. If we base on the practicality aspect, if you want to have a custom pen from Jeremiah, I believe you can benefit the most if you have something like a normal nib, normal writing, and a very exotic option if you turn the nib upside down, which is 
the seagull. But of course, you can browse the Instagram of Jeremiah and there you can see all sorts of exotic options as for a nib. I've enjoyed working with Jeremiah on this custom pen and I think I made the right choice going with him for my very first custom fondant pen. But keep in mind, he does two jobs. His time is very limited and probably it will not be rushed because he is a very, very precise and he is the kind of guy that he will not let go of a pen if it's not flawless. So you can trade in some time, but you will get a perfect pen. Something that I want to point out as well, I'm currently in the talks with Jeremiah to produce something exclusive for Pen Venture, and I hope to have something before the new year, something nice, something pretty, and also with some specialty nibs, but more on that later. Well, I hope you enjoyed this review. I hope you find this pen as nice as I did. Let me know in the comment section down below your opinion on my choices in regards of this custom fondant pen by Jeremiah Winfield. Let me know your opinion about these two nibs, if you like them, if you're not, comment down below. And also let me know what you would choose to have in your first custom fondant pen or maybe your second, third, I don't know. What is your taste in regards of custom fondant pens and which nib do you like from his lineup? Don't forget to follow the Pen Venture Instagram account and also you can go on Instagram and show some love to Jeremiah Winfield. And this is his Instagram account. Subscribe to the Pen Venture YouTube channel by clicking here and turn the notification bell on. And if you want to see more quality content from Pen Venture, click on this video and enjoy. My name is Emmy, and I look forward to seeing you next video. Take care, stay safe, bye bye.